Softball Hockey Riverhawks, ranked ninth in the country, will be home this weekend for a pair of games. There are just five Hockey East games left in the regular season, and it is a time of year when the significance of these games is magnified. The opposition this weekend will not be easy. The third in the nation, Boston University Terriers, visit the Saga Center on Friday night. Massachusetts is in town on Saturday. Yeah, they're Hockey East teams, Bob, so nobody's easy. As we all know, we anybody can beat anybody in Hockey East, and that's what the, makes the league so special. So, two uh, challenging hockey clubs, and uh, we're going to need to bring our A game on both nights. UMass Lowell has seen each of these opponents earlier in the season. They defeated UMass Amherst 2-1 to one out at the Mullins Center, but they lost a couple of weeks back to BU 4-2 in a game that they played well down at the Aganis Arena. Yeah, I thought we played a... a a pretty good hockey game. There's certain things that were missing, and obviously it came back to bite us. Uh, their transition is very good. Their goaltender was very strong that night, and uh, they've got a good hockey team. Like I said, uh, I mean, the, the both games are worth exactly the same. They're both good opponents. Um, yeah, it's going to be a good hockey contest both nights. UMass Lowell is 17-9 and three. They put an end to a four-game losing streak with a sweep last weekend, coming from behind to defeat Northeastern 6-4 on Friday night at the Matthews Arena, and then a dominating 8-2 win against the University of New Hampshire last Saturday. Um, I like last weekend. Let's leave it at that. You know that we were uh, all distraught after two weekends. Uh, you know, grinding them last week. We had one good weekend. Right now, we're just concentrating on having a good outing on Friday. This is a very good hockey club uh, that we're facing. We realize that, and we can be very strong. So we're, we're looking forward to a good hockey game. I think it's very important to have short-term memory loss uh, from a standpoint of uh, past uh, performances. Whether you played well or you didn't play well, you got to put it behind you because it doesn't matter anymore. What matters is the five games that remain in Hockey East, in the league, and that we're looking forward to playing on Friday night in front of our great fans. You know, I, I think that it's very important to, uh, to emphasize to our guys, we want to be playing our best hockey at the end of the year, and we want to build towards that. I thought certain parts of our game are very sharp, and certain others need a lot of work. So we're trying to concentrate on the, the parts of our game that need to improve, and uh, working on that this week. One of those things that was most impressive about this hockey club last weekend was in scoring 14 goals, 11 different people found the back of the net. The scoring was spread around. You nailed it. I think there's a lot of guys contributing. I can't say one line dominated any one game. Uh, a lot of people contributed. Uh, you've got a good morale in the locker room because when 11 different guys score, they feel good about themselves, and that's good. That's a good time of the year to feel good about yourself. At the same time, you're not going to score 14 every weekend. You know, it's great to score, but it's even more important to play good hockey and play the right way. And I thought a lot of these lines um, had some offensive zone success because they played well in the defensive zone and they, uh, they made good decisions in the neutral zone. It's very important for guys to know uh, what's expected of them on a shift out, shift, uh, shift in basis. And, and uh, last weekend, I thought they kept the game fairly simple and they worked. And, uh, and that's something that hasn't been as consistent as we've liked. And we'll see if we can uh, uh, have that repeat itself and just doing their, their, their specific jobs. And more importantly, uh, doing it each and every shift. I think it's to uh, advance pucks. It's to uh, never break the chain, you know, making sure that uh, the, the play doesn't die with them. And I think, uh, you know, everybody's going to have great days and average days. It, it, it's a matter of still being decent and uh, allowing the play uh, to go forward, even when you're not at your best. And I think if you do that, you'll have enough guys that have their great game that day to uh, to make uh, generate some chances for your hockey club. And so it's back to the Sangha Center. Two games this weekend. Friday night, BU in town. Saturday night, the University of Massachusetts. And it should be fun. Yeah, the marketing team has done an outstanding job this year, and I like to commend them. They, they do an excellent job on a day-to-day -day basis. But when you can get um, this many fans uh, for your home games, it's certainly an electrifying experience for the kids, and it's a lot of fun to play in front of.